Plans for a massive renovation project at a North Island BC Hydro facility are well underway. The replacement of a power generating station located just north of Campbell River is expected to cost more than a billion dollars and take five years to complete. The facility is vitally important for all power users on the island and that is why BC Hydro is looking for input now from you as to how the project should proceed. Construction crews are hard at work at the Strathcona Dam 25 minutes north of Campbell River. They're performing seismic upgrades to ensure the facility meets international earthquake standards. Right now we're in the process of installing 22 steel rods through the intake tower, which is 120 feet uh, tall, into the bedrock below to anchor it. Rollers are also being installed underneath this access bridge so it can shift back and forth during an earthquake. It's all slow but very necessary work. BC Hydro started the Strathcona Dam Safety Upgrade Project uh, last fall and this project will increase that seismic withstand by fivefold. But the generating station here at the Strathcona Dam is not the only facility requiring work. Near Campbell River, the John Hart generating station built back in 1947 is also old and tired. BC Hydro has put a lot of work into the facility to, uh, to keep it running, to keep it reliable. Uh, but like a car, it gets to the point where we need to replace it, and that's where we're at right now. The John Hart and the Strathcona stations are two-thirds of what's known as the Campbell River system. This combined system supplies as much as 20% of Vancouver Island's energy. That's why Hydro will be paying upwards of a billion dollars to bring them up to date. This is by far the biggest on Vancouver Island, and uh, in terms of uh, construction, this will be the largest scale construction we've seen since these facilities were built. In terms of province-wide, this ranks up as one of the most uh, uh, expensive uh, and needed projects that we've got in the system. Hydro had looked at upgrading the John Hart station, but in the end determined it was better to completely replace it. They've been working with various public groups to ensure there are no surprises. We've been engaging the area First Nations individually. We've had three consecutive uh, open houses every June. We've had a Recreation Advisory Committee, a Liaison Committee. So there's a lot of points where the community can provide comment. BC Hydro says they're working hard to keep the public informed and involved in the consultation process, not only because this is their source of electricity, but also because this area is widely used for recreation. The public's been uh, quite, quite interested in the Canyon View Trail, river access, uh, vegetation, wildlife, fish, obviously. We worked with the Recreation Advisory Committee to reroute the trail during construction to maintain that, uh, that loop. And part of Hydro's planning process is also focused on whether or not they'll still be able to make use of these surge towers. At 90 metres in height, the landmarks were at one point the tallest structures on Vancouver Island. Near Campbell River, Gord Kerbis, A News.